what is up guys Florida Redneck here um, bring a video after a while um, I'm gonna upload one uh, today so I mean I won't wait till tomorrow or the next day um, and also shout out to uh, all the like 120 people that's watched my first video on the soakers uh, can versus tub you know uh, I'm actually happy to see 120 views I mean I only have 11 subscribers not such a big deal, but then again, I don't really care. I just kind of like doing this. It's a little informational. I do, I'm not mainstream or anything, so it doesn't matter to me. I'm just a regular person, just filming some stuff. Uh, been trying to get out them outdoors uh, videos. Usually half the time when I go to do it, there's something wrong with the GoPro. I have another camera, but it's kind of shitty, and I don't feel like editing a lot. Um, because I... Let my laptops crash, so I just use an old laptop, which is slow, and it just it's it's not good for this. But I have a dip in already, um, just because I need more time to talk, and I usually end up talking before I put a, a dip in. But what I got today, I got two of these are. The new Grizzly Dark, I mean not Dark, Premium Wintergreen uh, Real Cans. Um, it's basically just the only thing different is it's got a um, fly uh, fishing reel, um, reel as a holder. Nothing special, plastic, uh, still cool kind of collector. Uh, it's got some weight to it so you know it's not that cheap. Um, but it's cool. I like it, and especially since the rod, uh, the, the rod that is attached to this uh, can holder is actually a rod I use to catch the fish that's on the can. Um, and actually, the only. Uh, spotted sea trout I've ever caught was with this pole and it was 21 inches and I was weight fishing um so I mean and this rod's old it's durable I mean shout out to ugly stick for making good rods uh, I don't know about the newer ones I haven't had any newer ones but this one's kind of like I think from the 90s but it's lasted a while I've been doing a lot of fishing and I would use this rod it's a little bit too long for my fishing style for bass but it's also missing an eye, so that's why I don't use it. I have like three ugly sticks, and I use nothing but Shakespeare rods, um, just because of um, how good they are. I currently use a two-piece Shakespeare Outcaster, I think it is, or Outliner, or something like that. I don't remember what it's called. I don't. I hit in my truck, but I use that for bass, and I've caught a couple bass um, with it. I don't have any video because I didn't have the GoPro at the time. I just usually go for the moment, go fishing. And two new things, well actually a whole bunch of new things, but I have a mud jug. You guys have never seen it before, you probably will never see anything like it because it is one of a kind. Because I personally hydro dipped it myself, redneck style, basically you just get a tub full or like you know, bucket full of water and then you uh, put spray paint in it and then you dip this down. I have a white primer. So then the colors kind of were brighter and they weren't dark because it was a black uh, classic. Um, I used green, orange, and black. And it just came out this cool little look like oil slick. I really liked the results of it. Um, I would have used different colors, but I didn't have any different colors. And I kind of want to do like a hunter's theme on it. And it did what it I wanted it to. Um, I love it. And it is awesome. Uh, another spittoon I have is an actual brass spittoon made in England. I found it at basically a yard sale for like five bucks. And I don't think it was really used much. I've been using the hell out of it for when I'm gaming. I just look down, spit in it, and it's good. It's kind of full right now because I haven't emptied it out. And that's the best part. It doesn't really smell because it's open and it doesn't have a small hole. But I've been doing that with chew because you can just, and then it's just quicker. 
Game Depot, where my mouth couldn't talk so much, but those are the two new Splatoons. I also have two new Splatoons also. I have the Olive Drab Stealth one that I was going to originally hide your dip, but I decided to just put some stickers on it. Currently, I only have a Jeg sticker on it. And then I have a General Lee one. It's kind of old, you know, but I've had it. I have never used this because it is so cool. And I just have this display piece. Um, and it's got Darcy's uh, signature on it. Cool. Two more new things. I went and bought a Savage slash Stevens uh, 320 field edition sh pump shotgun. Six in the tube, one in the chamber, and then with the plug, it has two in the tube and then one in the chamber for hunting. And it also has a choke on it, or a choke built into it. I also have a one month year old son now it's been that long since i've uploaded a video now i have a son yes um but with that said eventually when he gets old enough before i should uh after i'm in stationed uh, and he's old enough i'm gonna take him out fishing and it's i'm gonna love being a dad i already do you know, everybody's like, diaper changes are bad, but honestly, I love doing it. Uh, bonding with him is the best also, especially whenever he smiles and, you know, you get to see them uh, things. And, yeah, I'm kind of young, but being a father is something everybody, for males, should experience. Um, it's a whole new joy to your life. Yeah, it may cost a lot of money, but it's, you know, worth having someone that you love deeply and you know that you've taken care for their life but also um, I will be trying to do some uh, hunting videos before I ship off which is in a month um, I don't know if I'm gonna get anything out or not but um, I can try it doesn't hurt to go try I'm probably gonna go hog hunting I'm actually probably gonna take it shooting sometime within the week um, it's currently I think Wednesday, I think it's Wednesday, yeah it's Wednesday, um, but I'll try to go shooting sometime this week or, and if not next week, I've been trying to get the ba uh, bass fishing out, um, been currently fishing at an old phosphate mine, my friend's grandparents lived, uh, basically they own the house, they're never really there, but, um, Another cool little thing, fishing. Um, other than that, everything else has been basically the same. Uh, other than the Grizzly coming out with the uh, cool little cans, you know, I love them. Uh, I've been kind of flip-flopping from Stokers to Grizzly uh, for just whatever, you know, if I want something, you know, a little bit different, not as, you know, juicy. And not as fat as a cut, it's going to be grizzly. Um, Y'all know I did a video on the top five wintergreens. Grizzly was in there. So was Stokers. So you guys know my opinion on both. I like them. Uh, so I'm not really going to be doing a review on their uh, wintergreen. But it's same wintergreen, just different can. And it's a cool can because it's a spotted sea trout. I was looking for the other cans. They don't have them on display yet at the two gas stations I went to because I actually bought both of these separate. Um, I was originally going to buy the set, but um, honestly, it's just, what am I going to do with all of them? I mean, some people or, you know, give them away, I don't know. I, I didn't, just having one because I didn't get, you know, any other special cans really. I have a couple of special uh special cans but I don't use them I did get rid of my dip collection I had over maybe like 200 cans I know it's not that big but that was all from just me I uh, got rid of that just took up so much room plus also having a kid you kind of gotta let go of some things that are pointless um I kept the collector's cans like I've said um so I got like a couple I got maybe like a dozen uh, collect, uh little like cool uh, different lid cans, you know, 
with that being said guys there will be more videos coming um before I ship and also if you guys are wondering what my job is going to be my MOS is going to be 12 Mike which is a firefighter in the army so cool little thing I'm going to be a firefighter um so not a mechanic not an MP but still it's a good job um it's actually basically almost a rare job in the military uh I know my AAT is going to be at a air force base so a little bit different uh but that being said guys I am out and I'll catch you guys in the next video and it could be gun video it could be a hunt video uh it could be anything so I'm out